course, is this the Quicksilver Show with Dominique the Diva? Okay, all right, because I really meant pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Can I can I say that here? Is this a safe place? You good? Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you know how, why, why I've been popping it quick? I've been popping yeah. it because of Bank Ralph Freddie was popping. <laughs> You're making a lot of noise right now, Bank Ralph Freddie, with that uh, popping feature, Megan Thee Stallion, man, Jesus. Oh yeah, we going crazy, yeah, for yeah. sure. Hey. Going crazy is an understatement. I, I'm not sure where you are, what part of the world you're in, but right now that just sound like a strip club anthem. Oh yeah, for sure. I already knew what it was gonna do. As soon as I had, as soon as I heard the beat, I said, "Oh yeah, I gotta get Megan on this motherfucker." Yes. Right, well, said I need somebody that know what to do with me. I was like, period. <laughs> nah, I think that she was the perfect artist to, to put on that joint. And it's fun. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to get back out to popping it. Now, you got a lot of different type of tracks on your project. You come out the gate trying to set the record straight. So what is it that you want to set the record straight about? You know what I mean? Like, as far as, you know, what you bring to the game right now? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, um. I'm bringing to the game, you know, I got my own bag, you know what I'm saying? I came in the game, my own bag, my own sound. Mm -hmm. I sound like me, I don't think I sound like no other artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Arkansas, I'm the first artist out of Arkansas with a major deal, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I'm just letting them know, sitting in the record straight, man, let them know. A lot of people thought I was done for, you know, with the drip like this, thought I was gonna be a one hit wonder, you know what I'm saying? Let them know, <laughs> sit in the record straight, let them know what's happening. Well, you I love that. Set the record straight with uh with Pop It, man. And, and speaking, of course, setting the record straight, man. This album, as Diva mentioned, amazing. Um, but what kind of pressure are you under, man? You were quality control, and a lot of people who might not know. I mean, you talking from Migos to Little Baby to City Girls, all on that roster, man. Do you feel any pressure? Like I got to really make myself, uh, you know, stand out because I got some giants on my on my label. Right, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like you know what I'm saying. I like. Like, P know what he doing, you know what I'm saying? So he chose me, so he know, man, P already know how to pick a star, you know what I'm saying? So, because mm -hmm. I wasn't even rapping, you know what I'm saying? So he basically made me rap. So I feel like he know what he doing. So, you know, I'm a part of the team. So I feel like I'm on an all-star team. It's like getting drafted to LeBron and the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? Know. <laughs> you know, we go, we go win. Garland, you feel me? Definitely on the All-Star team, like little Baby say, you can come get rich with us, you're going to eat or you're going to starve. Okay. <laughs> and I was going to ask you about that, too, because you're the, you are the only artist, you know, on QC, you know, out of our Arkansas, like you said, um, putting your city on. I was wondering if that is a, you know, does that make you feel like, okay, let me let people know that, you know, we got talent coming out of here. Y'all can count us out, but do you oh, think yeah. that do you think that, you know, also, also Memphis is on fire right now and a lot of people are paying attention to the rappers from there. Do you think that Arkansas could have like that kind of like conglomerate of, you know, heavy hitters that's like, oh, y'all are forced to be working with out there? Y'all can rap out there? Oh, yeah, for sure. Most definitely because like, man, Arkansas, we've been looked over for years. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually the first artist to get signed out of Arkansas, but we got a lot of talent dudes that been putting it down for years. Like, PJ signed one of my partners, like, I, t I put P one of my partners from Arkansas, Ed Dolo. He just got signed to QC. You know what I'm saying? He oh. come here out of Arkansas before. You know, that's my partner since Yay Hot. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I got signed to the label. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of talent in Arkansas, and I think uh, 2021, we're going to put it in their face. We'll let them know what's going that's on. Tough. You just turned it into the show. Of course, we're talking to Bank Roll Freddie. Now, um, as you mentioned, I always say, like, right now, to some people, you're a new artist. Like, you've been around for a little while, but to some people listening to the show, they're like, Bank Roll Freddie, he just came out. They might have just heard of you from when Pop it dropped with Megan, right? What's right. something yeah. about Bank Roll Freddie that people might not know? Like, and it can be anything random, like something that you love to do or like there's something about Bankroll Freddy that your friends and family know. But Quicksilver and Dominique and Diva, we have- Yeah, we want to know, Bankroll. Like, do you like watch cartoons and eat cereal <laughs> late at night like I do? Like random. Oh, yeah. Random. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can cook. You know what I'm saying? I can cook anything. Like, I'm a <laughs> real shit. Like, for sure. Like, you, know, you can cook, cook, or you can make chicken Alfredo. I, no, I cook, cook. Like, cook, 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 cook. Like, I yeah. cook that in a- Every year, like oh, Thanksgiving dinner. Ooh, that sounds good. What's your go-to dish right now? If you, if, if a lady come to the house and you want to impress her, what is Bankroll Freddie making? Man, I might, I might go. I, I can go different type of ways because I got all type of shit. I might, I might make a, make a homemade lasagna, some come crazy on, homemade. You know what I'm saying? Or some, uh, 
Like, I might go soul food way, sweet potatoes, green, oh, and stuff like this. Yeah, you know. You put, I, that, I, smoke, you put, you put that smoked turkey neck in the greens? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make sure you know what you're doing over that bank, real Freddie. <laughs> Okay. No, that's true. funny no i would have never known that uh that you could cook like that that's what's up i was gonna ask you like you know uh another record on, on the project um last real trapper right mm-hmm. and so i'm like okay i see where you coming from with this right but i'm thinking mm-hmm. like you got money you know but there's those things that it's like yo no matter how much money i make yo i'm always gonna do this or i'm always gonna eat that and i just wonder what that is with you like for instance you know no matter how much money i make i'm always gonna eat me some oodles and noodles there's always gonna be some noodles in the house come on okay? now what, 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 what i'm eating uh, he's always gonna eat um sardines with sardines. mustard. No, <laughs> you don't like sardines, macro. Never ate sardines in my life. I hate it. Sardines, <laughs> tuna. I never ate tuna or sardines. The smell. He used to just taste sardines at my house like a month ago, man. And and I think she fell in love. I think. No, it was disgusting. Don't ever. And it's one of those foods that you never tried, but you know you don't like. Mm-mm, like no, I don't gotta I try it. <laughs> but what's no. that one food or the, or that one thing that you always gonna do, no matter how much money you make? At heart, I'm still gonna eat that, or I'm still gonna like I'll never spend more than five dollars on trash bags when I buy them for the house. Like why would I? Why would I spend more? On, like that's my trash bag budget. budget. Like I'm not <laughs> spending. Uh, more. Like you said, noodles for sure. I'm gonna always eat me some noodles. That's my go-to. If I want something quick. I'm going to warm me up some little noodles and I whip it over real quick. That's, that's all I need. All right, once and for all, cup of noodles or oodles and noodles? Once and for all, we got to settle this. Which one? Man, oodles and noodles. I ain't doing the cup. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the cup for boozy folk. Like, I, ain't never, I ain't never ate the cup noodles. I always did oodles and noodles. You got to give me the pack. I got I to gotta put it in the bowl. Join on. You got to get the pack. You said <laughs> that. Yeah. I got to put my butter, my seat. Thought I'll let up and down myself. I gotta do that. <laughs> That's funny. I, I'm, I'm glad to see Bank Road Freddy is just. I mean, he's like all of us, man. Like no matter how much money, yeah. people make, I always say we're all the same person at heart, man. So, yeah, because right. he has a lot of money. He's bankroll. All right. Man. <laughs> so what's considered for anybody who don't know? Like, and I always say, you know, money is relative to depends on who you're talking to. Like one of the little baby lines was, I ain't got a hundred mil yet. I can't show yet. What's that amount of money that you feel like once you acquire this amount of money, you can start relaxing a little bit? I start relaxing probably like 20 mil. I'd be like, yeah, I can chill. <laughs> I can like, chill a little bit. I got to have some paper because like, you got to think about it, man. I got five kids. I want all my kids at least have a million dollars. Like, Absolutely. I can have a million dollars for all my kids. My house paid for, my mama house paid for, yeah. for uh, my sister get my sister and brother, they all got cars and nice houses. All I, I, I can see back a kid like 20 yeah. minutes. Well, I, I always I, I love to ask artists like what's your big your first big purchase? So like when you first got signed to QC and you you got your first check for your first big show, whatever it is, what's the first thing you bought? Like for yourself, like gas to have it. Um, what did I buy? I mean, I had, I had, like, I already had jewelry. I had, like, rolling AP before I signed my deal. I had that. Uh, oh, shit. Your phone went off. We can hear you, but you can't see. Yeah. There we go. My bad. I had rolling. I had a rolling. I had an AP. I had a big boy chain. So, okay. I, first thing I bought, I probably bought was more jewelry. <laughs> I bought more jewelry. Like, yo, I everybody had, says that. Everybody's like, yo, I bought this crazy chain. Yeah, I had went and bought more jewelry. Like, I probably got, I got like, I got a million dollars in jewelry for sure. Not bad, man. Well, the good thing about jewelry, I tell some people they might not know, especially with time pieces, um, it's an investment. It's an right. investment. You, if you yeah. go broke, you can sell your roll of your AP and, and get back on your feet fast. Right, right. That's the thing. That's what, kind of a smart move. That's the reason why I keep all my jewelry because I believe when people get to sell their jewelry, they're going broke. <laughs> <laughs> they won't they won't admit it because you know in the rat world you, you never want to sell if you're going broke. When you see that when you see somebody auctioning off that watch, it ain't because they bought bank, bro. Really? Some taxes don't caught out with them. Some of them don't ever buy it. I heard they be renting them, taking pictures with it and putting it back. Man, look, look. I bought my first chain. I bought my first chain before I got signed, like 2019, with like March 2019, and I roll it. Ten years from now, you gonna see me with that. I ain't rolling. I mm-hmm. promise you should. Ain't nothing mm-hmm. like a roly, man. I, I think what's Meek Mill say? Uh, it's something about when that roly hits your wrist, like your okay. first roly 
it's different. Like your second and third is like, cool, I got another ice down, bust down. When you buy your first roll and you first put that first Rolex on and you got $20,000, $30,000 on your wrist, you feel different. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Hell yeah, that roll, that's a dope boy trophy. That's what we call <laughs> it. That's I know. <laughs> My first drink, you couldn't tell me nothing. It might, you really feel like I've arrived. I've made it. Like, I, okay, I got a roll. Oh, yeah, for sure. For so, sure. you know, the ladies, we're getting ready for Hot Girl Summer, which I'm sure because you just got pop it out with the Hot Girl Coach right now. You know what I'm saying? We like to go out. We like, you know, pretty girls like trap music. I always remind quick that, you know, right. so we, we got some things that we kind of been sharing with y'all, but not really that we finna pop out with. Right. So what you getting ready for this summer with as far as, you know, uh, the rest of the, your music, um, which ones you want to drop videos? Like, what can we look forward to to popping into all summer with Bank Road Friday? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have me a new project coming out soon. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go from Cat the Rap 2. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drop again on y'all, man. I gotta get y'all some more music because last year, you know, the pandemic had kind of messed up everything. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that like slowed up my year because I was, man, man we were gonna go. That pandemic slowed me up. So, you know what I'm saying? This year, it's gonna be bigger and better. I done got better with my music. You know what I'm saying? Everything finna go crazy. Finna go big on big this year. Let's go. And I, right before you, came, right before the pandemic, quick, you remember he came up to the station. Absolutely. I remember. Yeah, I peeped. I peeped in there. We had a um, was a DJ meeting. Um, yeah, right. That was right before everything like shut down, and we got a chance. Down, downhill ever since, man. Well, I, I'm glad the pandemic is starting to um, loosen up a little bit. People yeah. are starting to go back out. Artists are getting booked for shows again. Um, so that's a beautiful thing. Uh, for anybody who does not have any of your projects, and all they heard is pop it, of course, on, on the quick show with Diva, like what can you say to them to encourage them they need to actually go out and, and download and, and really buy and support this new project? Um, man, you want to yeah. hear, hear something different, some real authentic trap music, you know what I'm saying? I I, I got a little, you know, a little r and in there, you know, I got some little that little twerks for the ladies, whatever y'all like, man, go check out some Trap the Raps, from Trap the Rap and Big Bank on Apple Music, Tidal, all platforms, yeah, well, like, yeah, go get that. Hey, he do, he's yeah, singing man. on there too with the PNB Rock John. I heard y'all singing on there. He was home Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we gotta, once all this is over, we got to come to your town, man. I don't think I've ever been to, what was, how you said, Arkansas? Yeah, Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas. Yeah, yeah. Arkansas. I, I, I think I, I've DJ, I think, everywhere except Arkansas. Like, is, is it like a nightlife scene in Arkansas? Is it popping? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, it's popping in Arkansas, man. In hey, Arkansas? man. Arkansas? It, it goes down in Arkansas, man. I'm telling you. But man, what? look up. Look it's up, trap party. Look up. Look up, uh, like, Capital is Little Rock. Look up Banging the Little Rock documentary, all that. You can check out all type of, it going down in Arkansas. It ain't no, ain't no, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. really going down in Arkansas. Say less, man. I promise y'all, I'm a man of my word. I'm going to get to Arkansas before the year's out and at least, and, and check out the party scene, man. Because I, I, sure. when I think Arkansas, I, I think Little Rock. I think some of the stuff I see on TV. I don't think, like, I'm going to go there and turn up and, it's, and the strip right. is popping, right? Yeah, you gotta come. You gotta come down there. It's going down in Arkansas for they sure. They got food. Do they got food at the strip club? What? what? <laughs> I'm there. Said, then. Come on now. You gotta come in. when you come to Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas, man. You gotta get you some Brewsters Cafe, man. Brewster okay. Cafe. Brewster Cafe, soul food spot, man. I'm talking about, man. Look, you don't want to move there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You know what Put that on my list. Hey, Bank Royal Freddy, man, we're not going to hold you up, man. Once again, man, plug the project, plug all your social media so everybody can follow you um, and support you, everything you got going on, brother. Hey, yeah, get him on Instagram at Bank Royal underscore Freddy on Twitter, Bank Royal Freddy. And his name is Bank Royal Freddy. She knows for a fact he got that bank in real life, ladies. Period. Last uh, real trap. Real rap. Real trap. All right, all right, thank you, Bank Royal. <laughs> we appreciate you,